Hi, this is Gilbert Standen with Orubuntu LXC. We're celebrating the launch of our Orubuntu LXC version 5 multi-host enterprise edition, which just happens to coincide with Oracle Open World 2017 this year. Here's a short video showing just how easy it is to install Oracle Linux 5, 6, or 7 LXC containers on Ubuntu Linux 17.04. You might want to do this, for example, if you're a developer and you want to prototype something that's eventually going to be installed on Oracle Linux servers or, or it's going to be installed in Oracle Linux containers running on Oracle Linux. Of course, you could also run your Oracle Linux containers on Ubuntu, but of course that would be an unsupported configuration. For best results, if you're going to run production workloads, you want to run your Orubuntu LXC, Oracle Linux LXC containers on Oracle Linux, which is an outstanding platform for LXC containers. So let's get to it. First, you have to download our software. So you'll need wget. And we already have wget. So now we just run the wget command. We find out where that link is. It's here. Add our GitHub. Paste it in. Unzip master.zip. Oh, we need it. Unzip. This, by the way, is on a Ubuntu server edition, minimal server edition. Now we unzip the archive, the GitHub archive. We cd to or Ubuntu LXC master any Linux. We'll vi our any Linux services.sh file, which is our configuration file. Go down to the bottom. Take a look here. This is where you configure or Ubuntu LXC for deployments. And these are your multi-host, that's the new feature we have, your, your multi-host configuration parameters. This means it's going to be a new multi-host deployment, a new deployment. This means it's going to be N for multi-host because right now we're just deploying it on the first host. This means that all of the OpenV switches will have one as their last octet in their IP addresses. This is a reserved, unused parameter in case an additional parameter needs to be used. This will be the IP address of the server you're deploying on, the first server. And then when you go to multi-host, this is the IP of additional server that you're going to connect to the original Ubuntu LXC host server. So our multi-host design in version 5 is a very simple hub and spoke design. Your first multi-host installation is the hub and then you can add as many spokes as you like. We set the MTU to 1420 in the container networking because the traffic that goes between the hub and spoke hosts is going over a GRE tunnel, so it has to be encapsulated and therefore there's a small reduction in the MTU. These are passwords. This is the password for the DNS DHCP container that we build as part of the solution which will provide DNS DHCP dynamic addresses to all of your containers. So that's a little tour of the new multi-host parameter and I actually have forgotten what the IP address of the server is. So it's 53. So this is exactly how easy it is. You go down here and just have to set the first IP address to the proper 53. Now save it. Clear. Now run it. That's all you have to do to run Orubuntu LXC. Uh, it's a highly automated solution. It works on your Linux desktop. It'll also work in your Linux enterprise. And that is why our multi-host solution is such a important milestone for us because now you can run your Orubuntu LXC on your desktop or in the enterprise using the multi-host, which allows you to span your container networks across multiple hosts. 
you see here it's displaying the parameters and you saw that big multi-host parameter um, and what else can I tell you uh, basically just to summarize so this video doesn't get too long what this scripting is going to do is it's going to build a DNS DHCP container that will handle the DNS DHCP for your container network. It's going to build a seed Oracle Linux container and you can choose uh, configurable Oracle Linux 5, Oracle Linux 6, or Oracle Linux 7. This is our compatibility matrix that runs as part of the program, our acceptance of terms and then it will install whatever prerequisites you've configured in uh, script 3 into the container the Oracle Linux container and then it will clone that container to however many containers that you want for your uh, clustered or multi-server i.e. multi-container uh, deployment maybe you want to have load balancing or maybe you are going to run some sort of a cluster um, all of those things and in addition, once all of that is built for you and running, we also uh, are partner with SCST Linux SAN, and we bundle a file called scst-files.tar. It's another entirely automated solution. You just untar it and run dot slash create scst, and create scst will do the following. It will install the scst Linux SAN, and when I say install, it creates an RPM uh, package for Red Hat based Linuxes and it creates a DKMS Debian package for Debian based Linuxes and it installs the packet, the SCST package which puts SCST on your server host or on your desktop. And why is it important that it creates package RPM packages and DKMS enabled packages? It's important because DKMS packages and RPM packages ensure that when you upgrade your kernel, your SCST will continue functioning transparently because DKMS and RPM will take care of building the new modules for SCST from your kernel source. So having to recompile your SCST, for those of you that know SCST, when you upgrade your kernel is a thing of the past with the Orubuntu LXC SCST installer. After it's installed the SCST SAN, it will build you a SCST target. It will create and attach file-backed LUNs. Of course, note that you could also attach uh, fiber channel or uh, uh, any other type of LUN technology because SCST is an enterprise solution. So it is designed to be used for enterprise uh, types of storage requirements. And SCST, by the way, is used by several of the major uh, flash storage manufacturers inside their equipment. So it is a production grade, uh, well known product uh, developed uh, in cooperation with SanDisk. After it's built your SAN and your LUNs, it will also do something very nice, which is it will build your multipath.conf file automatically. It will find all the uh, WWIDs, it will blacklist all the devices that need to be blacklisted, it will whitelist whatever needs to be whitelisted, etc, etc, and it will create all of your user-friendly um, LUNs and it will, uh, LUN names, and it will create UDEV rules, and something that we're quite proud of uh, here at Orbuntu LXC is that it will create directories under dev where you can have your LUNs, part, your LUNs sort of allocated under a directory that's specific to that container such as dev slash container name one dev slash container name two that way you can present your storage your SCST storage up into the containers by just presenting that one directory you don't have to prevent present all of dev you don't have to present anything in dev mapper we actually create device nodes not links right in the dev container name directory and um, this is really a very nice feature because the LUNs are multipathed and on top of that this method works even in Red Hat 7 uh, you may know that in Red Hat 7 the option to um, use the name parameter in UDEV was taken away but we have found the way to continue to build device nodes um, under dev 
and so we include that as part of the solution and all of that is automated once Ubuntu LXC has built uh, the all of this for you basically a turnkey solution soup to nuts start to finish door-to-door -door solution you then have a system that will run everything at bare metal speed you will get bare metal speed from your storage array you will get bare metal networking and you will get uh, bare metal compute because there are no virtualized components in this this is all built on pure Linux stack there is no uh, virtualized hardware no uh, slow clunky hypervisors this is designed for ultra high speed high density computing so um, if you want to get some experience with Linux containers or Ubuntu LXC is a great way to get your hands on some container technology and start playing with it. Um, you can install Ubuntu LXC in VMs or on bare metal. So if you want to try Ubuntu LXC, spin up a uh, Ubuntu 17.04 VM or spin up a uh, Oracle Linux 7 VM or spin up a Red Hat 7 VM or a CentOS VM. Um, and we work in the server edition or the desktop edition of all of those Linux flavors. And within just 15, 20 minutes, you will have a network of however many containers you specified running on an open vSwitch network uh, with a completely configured um, turnkey solution. And you can add to that, uh, you can run your scstfiles.tar bundle create your SCST SAN and you can build Oracle databases or Oracle Rack or any other Oracle product that you want inside these containers and you will get much much better performance on your desktop because you're running at bare metal speed of everything with no hypervisor and on a, de on a laptop or desktop that's very helpful because often you're trying to pack a lot of prototype systems onto a single laptop and you really can't afford the poor performance that comes with hypervisor systems. And this same principle applies if you go into the enterprise. Same thing. You, you've bought a lot of expensive computing equipment, such as uh, flash arrays uh, for hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh, all kinds of high-speed networking equipment. And why, why waste all of that high-speed equipment on virtual machines that are going to be a bottleneck when you can run everything at bare metal speed on um, Oracle Linux containers. So, um, so basically this is the way to go. Um, it's, it's an outstanding system and thank you for listening. And I'm trying to figure out, I think this has something to do with the, I'm just going to fix this because I think this has something to do with the large size I've chosen for the um, for the font. I'm not sure. There we go. Um, not sure. I think that had something to do with the font size. But anyway, take my word for it. Or don't take my word for it. Better yet, download Ubuntu LXC yourself from GitHub Ubuntu LXC O R A B U N T U LXC and try it, for your, try it for yourself. Great way to get some experience on Linux containers. Thank you for listening. Have a great Oracle open world. Look forward to meeting you. Look for us. We'll be handing out uh, business cards. Uh, we're giving away a Lenovo P70 top of the line laptop, uh, which these laptops are high-end mobile workstations. They support 64 gigabyte of RAM. They support dual M.2 NVMe storage, plus they have a bay for a standard SSD. So these are high power, industrial strength, enterprise laptops. Enjoy. Thank you.